Hi, Malcolm here. I want to show you a, a quick technique on how to um, bring um, results into Excel. Now, the problem that we have when we try to bring results into Excel is that the way they're formatted normally causes Excel to reformat and there's dates. If I show you what I mean, if we select a few here, we go to Copy, go to Excel, Paste. As you can see straight away, we've got um, dates here and dates there where in effect um, we've got a fraction here and a dash here. Um, so what we need to do is change the formatting of the cells. If we just edit and undo the paste, we're interested in the C and D. So if we go to C, this one's easy. We can format it as a fraction. Now use two digits because there possibly are two digits. Okay. But when we come to the second one, this is where the trouble begins because there isn't a formatting. If you go to custom, you can see there isn't a formatting apart from date with dashes in it. So the thing to do here is use text. Text format cells are treated as text even when a number is in the cell. The cell is displayed exactly as entered. So in other words, what is in that cell will be put back into that cell. So if we go OK then, now the trick is, is to select your um, information, copy it over and click. Now as you can see the formatting hasn't changed. The trick is here if you click here and go match destination formatting bingo there we have the new formatted cells with fractions and um, and dashes. Now obviously this is just text so we need to get this into a usable format. Now the way I do it is literally copy that cell insert copied cell so I've got two of the same one Okay, on this one, just um, escape to get rid of. On this one, I will go edit, replace. Okay, and as you can see, I've done it before, but um, basically we go dash star star. Now that will um, replace everything on the right hand side, which is what we want to do. So we go replace all. Oops. Okay, see that's got rid of everything on that side. So we close and we do the same on this side but do it the other way around. Okay, so we go dash replace all. Okay, so we're back as you can see 11, 4, 7 to 4, 5 to 2, exactly where we were here. And the last trick is just to do a quick calculation on the cells to get the actual um odds so we do a quick calculation and basically we want that one and that one sorry that one and that one no. Got to put in there and then there okay left divided by right gives us the actual fraction um, the decimal odds and there you go okay well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope it's useful for you see you soon Malcolm